time began, my life was in His hand. He knows my name. Nataka kuongea juu ya source of inheritance or source of blessings. Jina la Bwana lisifiwe. Nataka niongee juu ya source. Ukisoma kitabu cha 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7 inasema kwamba for who makes you so superior? What do you have that you did not receive? If in fact you did receive it, why do you boost? As if you hadn't received it. Amen? Ni nani aliwafanya kuwa watu wakubwa? Kwa sababu kiri ambacho, kime wafanya kuwa watu wakubwa, ni kitu mulicho pokea, kika wafanya muwe watu wakubwa. You received something that makes you superior. Then nasema hivi, receive uh, uh, what do you have that you did you didn't receive if in fact you did receive it why do you boast as if you hadn't received it sasa ni kusema hivi kile ambacho uko nacho ndio kimekufanya uonekane ukiwa juu ya watu wengine ndio kinafanya watu wengine wakuheshimu ndio kinaweza fanya wengine waseme na umebarikiwa ndio kinaweza sababisha wengine waseme na wewe uko mbele Lakini sasa nasema hivi. Sasa kama hicho ambacho uko nacho ndiyo kinafanya watu waseme uko mbele na umebarikiwa. Hicho kitu ulitoa wapi kama sio kupatiwa ulipatiwa. In short anasema chochote ambacho uko nacho ni kupewa ulipatiwa. Haleluya. Alafu anauliza sasa kwa nini basi ubus unajivunia nini? Kwa nini ulinge? Kwa nini ujivune? Haleluya. Haguna mtu napaswa kujivuna kwa sababu ya ukuu ambao akonao. Kwa sababu kile kimefanya uwe mkubwa, kwa sababu kuna kitu mepokea, kika kufanya uweze kuwa mkubwa. Hii ndio sababu maniko sema, ata wale ambao wanamtumikia mungu, wanapaswa ukimaliza kutumika. Unasema, I am unworthy servant. Unworthy. Ya. Na hii ndio sababu, watu kama kina apostos, Walikuwa wanasema sisi ni watu kama nyinyi. We are men like you. Lakini tukaaminiwa kitu tofauti. But si ni watu wa kawaida tu. Haya, chano ama source ya baraka zetu ama ulivi wetu it is God. Ni Mungu. Wacha tusome hii. In the book of Galatians chapter 1. It is God. Ni mungu ambaye anatupatia. Kuna vitu zinatoka direct kwa mungu. Ushike hiyo, kuna pati mbili, pati ya kwanza, mungu anapa utubaliki, kuna vitu zinaza kuja direct kwako, bila kupitia kwa yeyote. Ya? Sio razi mazipitia kwa pasta wenyu. Sio razi mazipitia kwa yuwalida. Kuna vitu zinakuja direct from heaven. A revelation. There is, kind, there is a kind of blessings they come direct from heaven to you. Hitu neza kuangalia hapo Galatians 1 and verse 10 na kuna zingine mungu anatumia agent, anatumia uh, uh, roho mtakatifu Holy Spirit kuna zide ambazo anatumia angels like Gabriel messenger, anapatiwa akulete kuna zide ambazo anatumia watu kama pastors, wachungaji manabi, hao wengine wote na pia watu ambao Sio razi mawawe na taito, but wanaeza kutumika wakufikishie kiri ambacho mungu wa meachilia katika maisha yako. Ama nata kuleta katika maisha yako. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini hizo vitu, sikiza hii, hizo vitu zote sinatoka kwa Jehova, kwa mungu. Ushike hivo. Hata kama kuna watu wanatumika, hao watu they are channels. Za kutumika, niyo ya kwamba ufikiwe na baraka ambazo mungu wa meachilia. Lakini zo baraka zimetoka wapi? Heaven. Ushike hiyo vizuri. 
Hii ndio sababu hata ukipatia mtu kitu wacha kujivuna. Hicho kitu sio chako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu sasa Mungu ondoke ndani yangu. Uone kama ataweza kusimama hapa niseme nini? Hakuna kitu naweza kusema. Ni Mungu ananiwezesha kusimama hapa na kufanyika baraka kwa watu. So nimefanyika kuwa chano. Hallelujah. Sasa the, the challenge ni hizo chano zikose kufikisha vitu mahali zinapaswa kufikisha. Kile ambacho kinafanyikaga hizo chano huwa zinafungwa. Mungu anafungua zingine. Hiyo ndio Mordekai aliambiwa aliambia Esther. Alimwambia you are chano. Wewe ni kasichana tu kwa kawaida. Lakini Mungu amekubali ya kuchague, akuweke nyumba ya mfalme, utafute msaada wa hawa watu. Hiyo ajasa chano. Lakini usipotumika, Mungu atafunga hii chano na afungue ingine. But the purposes of God cannot be hindered. Lazima kile Mungu alipanga kifanyike, tuwekewe. For I am now trying to win the favor of people or God. Yaani najaribu kushida kibali kwenu ama kwa Mungu. Or am I striving to please people? Ni swali. Yaani kile ambacho nafanya, ninajaribu kufurahisha ama kupendeza watu. If I were seen trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Singekuwa mtumwa wa Kristo kama ningekuwa natafuta kile ambacho nafanya kufurahisha watu. Hii bidii yote. Yaani vile ambavyo nasumbuka, nafanya hivi vyote ndio niweze kupendeza watu. Kasema hapana. Verse 11. Mstari wa 11 inasemaje? Now I want you to know brothers that the gospel preached by me is not based on a human point of view. Sikiza hii. Kile ambacho na hubili, si hubili kitu ambacho kinatokana na mwanadamu. Haya. Verse 12. For I did not receive it from human source and I was not taught it. But it came by a revelation from Jesus Christ. Kile ambacho nafundisha, mi siku fundisho. Nadia huwa nasema ni vizuri kuenda Bible school. Si vibaya. Lakini wacha ni kuambie. Kile unapata Bible school kita kusaidia. Lakini wacha ni kuambie kita kusaidia ata siyo kuota. Kwa hile kazi umeitiwa. Aa. Kama unaweza kulilai na the original source Kajua kuna watu ambao walienda Bible school now they don't pray they don't fast Paul anasema ya kwamba mimi kiri ambacho napata siyo funuo kutoka kwa yeyote I receive it from direct direct from the source and the same second Samuel chapter 5 juu ya mfame wa Israeli Madiko sema kwa mba mfame wa Syria. Alikuwa na msichana wakazi. Alikuwa nafanya kazi kwa nyumba yake. Wakati ya liona naman ni mgonjwa sana. No. Kwa, kwa naman sorry. Alikuwa nafanya kazi kwa naman nyumbani. Huyo mfa, uh, msichana akambia naman. Raiti bwana wangu angejua. Kuna nabi katika Israeli. Anaweza kumponya. Wakati ya nisikia hivo. Akakimbia kwa, kwa, kwa mfame wao wa Syria. Akaenda kandika barua mfame wa seri ya kandika barua. Akandikia mfame wa Israeli. Wakati alipelekwa hiyo barua miandikwa. Kwa muheshimiwa mfame. Uh, tunakuomba utusaidie kuponya mutumishi wetu ambaye anaitu wa naman. Wakati alipelekwa hiyo barua mfame. Akapelekewa barua. Akaisoma. Mandiku nasema hivi. Akararua. Wakati alilarua. Oh si. Ba, barua. Akararua mguo zake. Akauliza hivi. So it is simple. But it can win. Akauliza. Mimi ni mungu. Am I God? Uniambie jambo kubo wa kama hii. Praise the name of the living God. Uwa naurumia watu wale ambao. Wachilika wana kujanga wakisema. Nimekuja uniponye. Am I God? Watu wale wana semaga. Pasa ni niponya. Am I God? No. Pasa hana uweza wakuponya. Kile bacho wako nacho, cha kuponya, kinatoka heaven. So it is not about pastor or prophet. It is about God. Wapendwa, wacheni kuwabudu prophet. Wacheni kuwabudu evangelist. Wacheni kuwabudu pastors. Wacheni kuwabudu bishops. Worship the only one God. The living God. The creator of the heaven and the earth. He is the source. Hallelujah. He is the source. 
not the pastor. He is just a channel. But God is the source. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Verse 13 nasema hivi. Mustari wa kuminatatu. Inasemaje. For you have heard about my former way of life. In Judaism, I persecuted God's church to an extreme degree and tried to destroy it. Verse 14. And I advanced in Judaism uh, beyond many uh, con contemporaries among my people because I was extremely zealous for the traditions of my ancestors. Kile nikuwa nafuata ni mambo ya kale ya baba zangu. Verse 15. But when God who from my mother's womb set me apart and caught me by his grace was pleased. 16. To reveal his son in me so that I could preach him among the Gentiles I did not immediately consult with anyone. Hakuna mtu nienda kukonsult. Ah ah. Ndiyo sababu nimesema my revelation haijetokana na mwanadamu. The source of my revelation is God. Huyo ni Paul, the apostle. Na hivyo sababu kienda usome apostle alifanya makubwa apostle Paul kuliko watu wale wengine. Kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anategemea the original source. Praise the name of the living God. Na kuconnect na source siku ya leo. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa na simama kuconnect na source in the name of Jesus. Job inasema hivi Job 41. Hebu sikize hii maandiko vile nasema Job 41 verse 11. Who has given me anything that I need to pay back? Yaani Mungu anauliza Kuna mtu wa shai nipatia kitu ni mulipe. Kama saizi yapa ukiulizo unaza sema aje wewe. Kama ushai patia mtu mungu kitu. Unaza kusema aje wewe. Na ndiyo sababu wata wekini wakienda kuomba. Wanendaga kusimamisha. Wanasema hata ule mfami aligonjeka. Alienda kwa ukuta akasimama. Haka muambia mungu nimekua nikifanya ama mazuri. Wacha ni kuambie. Mazuri hayo yote ulifanya. Ulifanya kwa sababu ni kupatiwa ulipatiwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa Mungu anauliza hapa, ni nani ambaye kuna kitu ambaye alinipatia hapa, nimpatie? Sasa hapa ukianza kuuliza, ushaipatia Mungu nini unamwambia masaa? Tai. Nimepatia Mungu masaa yangu. E, lancha wa kama rasia 2019. Lancha wa nimekosa mara mbili. Time yangu. Yeah. Sadaka Sunday lazima nitoe. Even my 10%, I give. Unakaa kama ule jamaa alienda kuomba akasema huwa natoa fungu la 10. I fast twice a week kini yakaambiwa sasa wewe kwa sababu ya pride yako ondoka naye mwingine akasimama akasema sistahili sifai hata kile huwa nafanya sifai the bible says alienda kama amekubalika huyu mwingine akakataliwa na ukiona umenyamaza hivyo ni kwa sababu unasemaga nilipeaga Mungu nilimpatiaga wacha nikusaidie nikuambie chochote ambacho ni chako usiwahi mpatia Lakini chochote ambacho ni chake alikuwaminia murudishi yage. Na hiyo ndi Yohana alisema. Alini, alisema nipatie ni kurudishie. Simple as that. Nipe ni kupatie. Nifungulie njia kipesa na minta kurudishia. Yeah. Hey. Hapa kuna mtu leo. Hamekaliwa. Arafu wakasema hivi, everything under heaven is mine. Hii nasema everything under heaven belongs to, el, kusema everything including you. Hata wewe, wacha ni kuonyesha hiyo, Psalms. Ebu weka haraka Psalms. Oh my God, Psalms 24 verse 1, hiyo mustari moja. So God is the source of that your money. Mi nataka ni kusaidie ndiyo usiwe na shida ya kumtumikia mungu. Usiwe na challenge ya kupokea vitu vyako. Ambazo mungu ameweka. Unajua huwa tunakaa kama kuna mtumishi moja lipatia na yomfano. 
Ati tunakuwa kama kama watoto wale unakujaga unapitia supermarket unabeba biscuit. Unakuja na paga line unapatia kila mmoja biscuit tatu 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 tatu. Unamaliza harafu namwambia sunipatie moja. Anasema oo. Na naanza kulia. Biscuit zilikuwa zako. Kabla umpatie. Lakini kwa sababu sasa zimefika mikononi mwake kukupatia izanishio. Jina la Bwana ni pesa. Kukupatia ni nishio na biscuit ni zako ukampatia. Sasa ni kusema kile ambacho tuko nacho ambacho Mungu ametupatia kimetokana na yeye. Hebu ni kuonyesha hii kwa haraka. Kiswahili. Inchi na vyote Inchi na vyote vijazavyo ni mali vijazavyo ni mali ya Bwana. Ya Bwana. Dunia na wote wakao Kwanza dunia yake. ukisikia dunia ni kila kitu kiko duniani. Alafu na na wote wote that is verse 2 hebu sijui verse 2 ama hiyo verse 1 ya inasema na wote kiswahili inasema ya kwamba na wote vitu na wote vitu na watu na hii ndio huwa naambia watu ya kwamba wacha kujipendekeza kwa watu pendeza Mungu ndio Paulo amesema ya kwamba mi sikuja kuahubiri ni wapendeze ah ah so hata ukisikiza message zangu sio za kupendeza watu Ah, nimekuja kupendeza Kristo, sijakuja kutafuta kibari kwa watu. Nimekuja kutimiza makusudi ya Mungu, nimpendeze aliyenituma. Hallelujah. Na Bible inasema kwamba nyakati za mwisho watu watakuwa men pleasers. Yeah. Now the challenge we as pastors tutakuwa men pleasers tupeleke wengi hell. Kwa sababu tunataka kuambia watu kile wanapenda kusikia. We have become men prisoners. Tunakosea Mungu wakati tuna prison watu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii ndio huwa nasema tafuta kibali kwa Mungu akupatia kibali kwa watu. Yesu alisema hivi ya kwamba akiinuliwa si wewe yeye. Namba 2 si wewe utavuta watu kwa Mungu. Aa anasema akiinuliwa atajivutia wengi kwake Praise the name of the living God. God is the source of your inheritance. He is the source of your blessing. Hebu sikiza hii. Nikikusomea hii hii mstari moja wa hiyo Romans 36 uh, uh, 11:36 kuna kitu nataka uone hapa. Do you know hata Yesu ye mwenyewe kuna mahali Yesu alifika akasema wale wote baba ulinipatia. Si alisema hivyo. Hii ni kusema hata wale niko na wao nikupatiwa nini? Patiwa. So hata mimi wale washirika niko na wao sio kujua kuhubiri vizuri. Nikupatiwa nimepatiwa. So lazima niwaangalie vizuri kwa sababu mwenye kunipatia hawa watu anaangalia vile nafanya na wao nikikuja kuwa manipulate na kuwatumia vibaya ako na uweza wa kuwaondoa Yesu alisema hivyo wale ulinipatia baba wote ndio hawa sikupoteza hata mmoja ni wewe ulinipatia hawa watu Haleluya Are we together Inasema hivi for everything nataka ushike mambo haya matatu for everything comes from him that is number one. everything comes from him number two. and exist by his power yalitoka kwake mambo ndio ya exist na hii ndio sababu natumia mfano wangu kwa sababu unaweza uelewa vizuri kama saa hizi najua watu wale wako hapa ni Mungu aliwaleta. Sasa hata kumaintain ni Mungu atawa maintain. It is his power. And this why in the church in the altar tunapaswa kufanya juu chini kuweza kuwa na power. Because it is by the power of God watu watakuwa maintained not by dramas. Hey Maandiko nasema kwamba vitu vyote vilitoka wapi? 
Everything comes from him, exists by his power, and is intended for his glory. Mambo hama tatu, vitu zote zimetoka kwake, zitadumishwa na yeye na kwa sababu ya utukufu wake. Him, 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 him. Enda usome kitabu cha Psalms 18 from the, verse 26 hapo. Kwenda hivyo chini. Daudi ya likuwa nasema, he, he gave me, he gave me, he gave me power, he gave me. Haka nifunga mshipu wa nguvu, haka nifanyia, haka nifanyia, haka nipandisha, haka niweka maripangu paju. He, he, he. Endo some shetani vila nisema. Shetani nisema, I, 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 I will. Yeah. Nitakaria kile kiti. Nitaenda nifike mahali yako. Nita, nit. Kwa sababi ya kusema hivyo, mbadiko nasema kwa mba, akatolewa mahali alikuwa na akawekwa chini. Sikiza hii. Mungu angependa kida kitu. Kiwe ni kwa sababu yake. Na ndiyo sababu hata Paul alikuwa nambia watu Hata kukura kwako Iwe ni kwa sababu yake Hata kuva Na hey, sababu mfame alisimama siku moja Kitabu cha Danieli Akasimama akasema Hii nyumba ni yangu Nimejenga kwa sababu yangu Kwa utukufu wa jina rangu Na kwa uweza wangu Mungu wakasikia vibaya Kasema stakagi useme ai Stakagi useme hivo Mungu akakasirika. Alikuishia hapo. Akashushwa. Kwenda chini kabisa. Hadi wakati moja katambua ni Mungu ambaye hufanya mambo yote. Praise the name of the living God. Wapendwa, ni Mungu upatiana vitu. Ni Mungu ubariki watu. Praise the name of the living God. Na kama unataka kile ambacho Mungu amekupatia kiwe maintained, acknowledge him akupatie uweza waku, waku maintain kile uko nacho na kiwe ni kwa sababu ya jina lake give god glory all the time james inasema kwamba mnakaa kama inaitwa mist hii ambayo unamkaa siku unaona inakaa kama moshi sasa james inasema nyinyi kwanza inasemaga ya kwamba nyinyi mnakaa kama hiyo mist ya kwamba iko saa hii lakini jioni hakuna Yesu wakasema, muna kaka kama maua ya kondeni, ambaye sahi ya nakaa vizuri, inapendeza, lakini kesho, inanyauka. Praise the name of the living God. So, ni kusema ya kwama, ni kiona ni mesimama, ni yache kusema ni nguvu zangu. Wacha ni kuambie, hatu takuwa na afya, tu kwa sababu ya kukuda vizuri. Apana, mungu wa sipo kupea afya, hata ukude vizuri. Ha, wacha ni kuambie, hakuna kitu kitafanyika maishani mwako. Praise the name of the living God. Na kuambia neema ya buwana in the name of Jesus. Kuna watu watakuwa na kuuliza, kwani unakuraga nini? Wacha kuambia ni kukuda visuri. Na tumtu unakuja na kuuliza, kwani unakuraga nini? Hey, umeka smart. You look good. Una muambia, wacha ni kuambie. Mina kuragu wakari number two. Sikuragi kuku za, za broida na kuraga kinyeji. Siwezi miss kukura managu. Maji na zima ni kunyo ni tatatu kila siku. Sasa hakuna mahali mungu anatajwa chakura, chakura, chakura. Sasa siku moja unajipata kwa, kwa hospitali. Unaulizo wa okore, utakura nini? Sasa mungu. Takunyo ruko zedi. Matunda iko hapa. Mm -mm. Na unamaliza siku tatu bila kukura kitu. Ndiyo mungu wa kuonyeshe, siyo chakura hukueka. Arafu kimaliza unatoka hapa, unaza kusa, hey, nikuwa ni megonjeka. Sasa nasikia kama naweza kura. Ni mungu wa likuwa na kufundisha. Siyo chakura. Yesu wa lisema, mutu hata ishi kwa mkate tu. Not by bread alone. Raise the name of the living God. Ukiambua uko smart. Asema ni mafuta gine litokea hapo. Eh. Diyo naona. Hai, ulimaliza spot na nini zikuwa zimeja. No mambia we wacha ujui. Wacha ni kuambie. Uneza fanya kila kitu. Lakini mungu wa sipo kupatia urembo. Praise. Na diyo sababu pita kambia wa mama. Kujirebesha kwenyu siwe tu kwa sababu ya nguwa na kushuka nyuele. 
Mungu atafuta kuwa smart kwa sababu ya nyule peke yake. Wacha nikwambie kuna kitu Mungu asipokupatia hata uwe smart mzee haoni. Hata uwe na nguo zinakaa acha utafute uangalie una, kuna watata wanashindaka kwa Facebook na kwa Instagram na zile zingine wakifanya search ya nguo smart. Alafu unafaa unatokea hapo asubuhi kwa zile mzee kwanza akokuwa daini akikunywa chai unapita hapo. Mzee haoni. Kwanza nakuuliza na iko nia watu wako iko ni umetoa pii gunia. Juata sio shepi yako. Ni mtu uliona akifanya modeling. Na vile alikuwa anapendeza na yako na shepi ya hiyo nguo na unavaa. Unapita mbele ya mzee anakuuliza saa hii gunia umetoa wapi? Na si vibaya kujirembesha mimi semi usijirembeshe. Aa lakini wacha nikwambie kama utafikiri utawin watu. Utawin your husband na ulembo wa nje umepotea. Maandiko sema kwamba mwanamke mulema uh, mwanamke mwenye hekima huwa anajenga nyumba hekima hutoka wapi? Ya yeah, ndio James anasema kwamba ukikosa hekima omba Mungu akupe hekima ambayo upatiana bila kukemea. It is God who gives wisdom and it is by wisdom you can build your home or your house or your marriage. na nimemaliza Endo jiite mkutano Ujue ya kwamba kila kitu ambacho uko nacho na kile utapata mwaka huu ni Mungu atakupea Usiende kuinamia watu Usiende kukosea Mungu kipendeza watu Hapana it is God ni Mungu atakubariki mwaka huu Usitegemee watu tena weka imani yako tumaini lako kwa Bwana Daudi akafika mahali akasema na inua macho yangu nitazame milimani msaada wangu unapatikana wapi unapatikana kwa Bwana praise the name of the living god god is my source jina la Bwana lipewe sifa Mungu ndiye source hata kama huwa anatumia wanadamu sikatai lakini wacha nikwambie he is the source na mtu akitumwa niletee akatai Mungu anaweza kutuma mnyama, anaweza kutuma ndege wa angani, aweze kufikisha kile Mungu anataka kija maisha ni mwangu. Praise the name of the living God. He is the source. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usiende dada wacha kwenda kuhonga watu na mwili wako. Ndio upate kazi. Manager anakuambia turara na wewe nikupatie kazi ama promotion. Wacha nikwambie ukiharibu mwili wako Mungu anasema wale wataharibu mwili nitawaharibu. Maandiko sema mwili wako ni hekaru ya Roho Mtakatifu. Don't destroy your body. Kwa sababu ya kazi. God is the source, not the manager. 